Whatever you want to do, just I just want to see how you strike first of all. Okay. So you just get the camera going. Yep. Just Wait. imagine you're just gonna, you, you know, you're just working out on the bag. I'm not around. Okay. Throw something to the body. So what you've got there, your, your traditional, you're getting some good leverage in there, right? So you, there's a lot of motion. So you have a lot of, you know, a lot of boom. The obviously is very good. But you're using so much motion that in the street and for defense, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna hit them hard and they're gonna go, definitely when you connect. But you just, all you're gonna get is into this brawling, like everyone's gonna start pounding each other, all right? Look at I want you to leave your fist on there. Now see the angle of your fist. Okay. See how there's a gap, there's a little concave, slight concave um, element here. Yes. So that, too much pressure will do that. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is learn how to position your fist on the body to strike. So we start working backwards. So rather than have that slight concave effect here, we now want to flatten it so that there's a straight line from the elbow through to the tip of the fist. Also, this needs to relax. Now, if we start and just position it here, that's nicely on the ribs, isn't it? Now, from here, rather than doing anything crazy, just extend your arm. Don't push it, just feel like your arm is extending. That's it, nice and gentle. Now, can you feel there? There's your impact position. So it's a instead of just. Well, I'm going to hit you, unfortunately, because no, 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 otherwise no, no, no. you're not going to know what I'm talking about. All right, I know how this problem. Have you been hit before? Ben? Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, what if you let the hand relax and extend? Now I don't need to hit you hard because you can see it, you can feel it, and that's just I'm stopping it now. See, I'm quitting on the shot. And there's a quick. There's a strike. Right? Now, that's all we need to do, alright? As you can feel it, it's just, I can see every punch of an hour. You're learning that. I'll teach you that in talk. What you're learning now is how the body, how the hand penetrates that layer of muscle and goes beyond and deep in. Right. Right? right. So when you, now do your boxing again. Just box. The other thing here to note is how the shoulders are high. Drop them. Now, when you have the shoulders lifted out, You've lost the connection between your body okay. and your arms. You've now isolate the shoulder. Now, there'll be times here you need to isolate just to, because you're in some odd angle. But you keep the shoulder down. Now, so this strike here is coming all through the back of the body, everything, and the acceleration and the extension. So it's it's nice and relaxed, but it goes very, very deep. So just try. First of all, we're going to work on me. I want you to keep the shoulder down. Now, I just want you to extend that arm gently. You see there's no movement there, right? Because that now is not, means we're not on a strike point. Because we need to have it so that... Now, I, I want you to stand rock solid still. And I want you to not to concentrate on not moving, but don't let me push you. And what we're going to do is just gently see how I can extend my arm. Rock your weight back onto your seat. See how you're going back? Just gently. So we know there's a good point there. And 
we do that all around the body and we're just getting the feel of where see how my fist sinks in beautifully there so there's a beautiful one right the head is an easy and obvious target but what i'm doing is keeping the shoulder down and just learning look to push you away if i can push you i can strike so now from whatever angle I can twist, mm -hmm. I can just extend the arm. You haven't really got to do much more. Hang on, come down. There's no tension here. It's just nicely finding that place. You try it on me. Okay. I will. Rotator cut things up, so I'm used to guarding it after the. Uh... That's probably why you got it. Sure. Don't use your body, just your arm. You don't need it, remember? That's it. Just gentle push. Breathing comes later. Let's get the technique. Now breathe out. And you see, what you're forcing me to do is absorb it. If I, if I resist it, it's still, look. Right. You're still going to put the, look. Hmm. Right? So this, when you see these guys in the video and they're just touching you and they're going down on the floor, obviously it doesn't look much, right? right. But you, know, you can feel it, it's real. And the reason is because that it's that motion of the body, continuous, it doesn't stop. It doesn't drive like power drive through. It's just a nice relaxed extended push. There's your strike, but you're not necessarily throwing yourself in these crazy positions. You're just simply over here. There's your first simple straight forward. Think of the line of travel, right? Okay. At the moment you're just throwing your arm up, which is fine because it's going to hit them. But let's now establish a, a straight line so you can gather the energy boom, and just straighten into the body. There you go. Now don't overextend yourself because look, if you overextend and I escape, yeah. now you're in problems. So you want to be, you want to first of all feel, and this is why we're going to talk a bit about footwork, okay. your balance. Feel your balance. Don't punch so you overextend yourself, or you have to lean back. You will have to in certain situations, right? But for training, you want to train as close to perfect as you can. Then you want to put yourself in situations where you're going to be feeling awkward, like on one leg, and so on. But the first thing we're going to do is just learn to extend that arm through into the shot, keeping the shoulder down, and staying in balance. So look here. And these are not karate punches, but they're just simple strikes. And we'll come on to the circular strike that you see all over the videos in a minute but you're not going to have time to think of that positioning you need to learn to deliver a very quick strike into the body head whatever if you're being attacked so let's work on that stay in balance first of all throw throw straight that's it straight don't loop it around it's going to be so keep that elbow close to your body people that get dumbbells and they start doing this <laughs> that's not necessary right? you have the weight of your arm it weighs around eight nine pounds if I get an eight, a nine pound weight and throw it at you it's gonna hurt you so now this motion is just one 
of hundreds of different angles the body can, the arms can work around the strike points, around the striking I should say. But we don't really have time to do this. So now we've got to do it just straight from there. I'm not going to do it. No, you just eat. I just eat. So I'm just going to stop over here. So look. And I'm pulling it deliberately because I don't want to sink it in and bring up his Chinese lunch. But look, instead of here doing this, now, so I've taken out this. It's still in there. That motion is still in there. But it's a lot quicker. Equally, this can come this way. But the shoulder's down. And there's another little secret you can use for this. is your scapula, okay? So just try doing this. Use your scapula. Keep the shoulder down. See the range of motion you've got in your back. Now, just pull your scapula back. Relax. So look, I can... Now, rather than try and line up again, concentrate on that line. If you can do a straight shot, look. Just do this. With the power, you, you, you've no. And look, okay, let's make it very, very clear. The most powerful punch you can throw will involve the use of your entire body. And anybody who tells you different is not telling you the truth because that's how. You know, you see a boxer throw a nice, hard, heavy right cross, mm -hmm. fully committed, bang, he's out. Equally, you see many a boxer, doom, a little short left hook, but his body's been like, But obviously, just studying physics, we know that leverage, force, mass, sums acceleration, the body mass, how hard you can accelerate it, how fast you can accelerate it, mm -hmm. will give you much more power than obviously the strike we're talking about. Right. But if you're in a situation where you need to deliver something quick, and turn it on the radar of somebody, then you will not be, have a better option than that. So try this motion by standing here and just learn to lift each arm. And first of all, just let the arm do the work. Just lift it. Don't go for any power. Just speed. Just make a good contact. Feel relaxed and loose. Almost like you're, you're half asleep. But I want you to keep the lines of the attack very precise. So I don't want you to come out here. I want you from here just to work up there. So that's the first easy, simple strike. Shoulder down. Looser, looser. That's it. And also, use your left. Good. That's a nice one. Good. Okay, now here's another. What you're doing is, again, you're slightly falling forward. Because the temptation is to bury it in him, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you don't need to. Even this, look, is enough to make you feel. And that's all I want to show you. So you just look. In fact, look at those horses as you do it. Mindset, which everybody has, you've got to throw hard motion into it. It actually is not true. It's all you need. So they're looking at you. Now there's a little bit of a job, but that buys me enough time now to hit him again. Okay. Very relaxed. Short. Very controlled. Now you see how your arm, look what happened there. Just to show you. Now your arm went up and it came back the lazy way. So I want a straight line from here. I come a soldier marching, yeah? My arm comes back. It doesn't come out here. It's and then straight back down to my side. That's it. Let it fall back down. There you go. See? You almost feel like you're coming back. You're not, it's not. I want you to feel that exaggeration because I don't want you Shorter the distance now, look, the shorter the piston. So you can be this close to somebody and boom. And there's certain target areas which you can use your own imagination right, right. and a bit of knowledge of anatomy. And there's no stance. 
No head movement. Don't even look at his eyes. Okay, two, so you, now when I show you this back on video, you'll see. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is this. Very solid, all your shoulders tense. It's going to be powerful. But you've expended how much more energy? Right. Then, doing now is taking away all the unnecessary movement okay. and we're learning to deliver a very quick very heavy blow into our attacker without the drama the ah, boom right mm -hmm. we're just phew, little short very sharp very precise strike so the plexus side of the ribs here 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 anything to give you the secondary target because we, we might just want to fire this one in here and then fire that one up here. But most people go straight for the head, don't they? Always. And then, you know, if you don't get there, now he's, now he's ready. Mm. A little short, very precise strike into this area here is going to do wonders for your timekeeping. <laughs> Timing in the fight. Through there. Yeah? Right. Just gently. Now, see how that went around? So I just wanted to go off there. I just want to go straight up there. There you go. Nice, that's good. Good. Okay, then you turn your shoulder and see. Natural, give it just from here. Okay, look, when we're, if we're in some sort of conflict, if I see that shoulder move, you tell me what you see. Nothing. Very minimal. You're doing this. So as soon as that shoulder moves, he's alerted. It's hard, I know. You just try it. Bear with it. Still driving up? Good. Yep. Good. Now, to get a little more power and more feeling for power, think of the elbow as a lever, and you were going to just lever this elbow straight up. So instead of doing that now, have that as a fork, and that will fly the fist in harder. Drive your elbow through. If you have the time to do this, of course that's what you want to do. Right. But since when do we have the luxury of time in the street? Never. 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 So you want to spend literally hours just learning these. I, what I do a lot is I just place. And I feel now, look, that I've, I've gone past the muscle. I feel it's deep. And I'll do this, you know, maybe for... 15 minutes before I even start to do any sort of workout. So the idea of just is what you want to work on. Okay, let's, do let's give Bobby a little strike. He hasn't had one for oh, so long. Right. <laughs> Come here, stand over there. Dear poor old Bobby, he's our web designer, internet marketing guy. Shut your eyes if you don't want to feel it, Bobby. Give me a little nice little. <laughs> Go on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Feel it? Yeah. Do the left. You feel it? Yeah. <laughs> you take one more? Yeah. Come on, give him one more. Just the same, Bronson, nothing more. Keep your shoulder back. Do it quick. Look, street, you, you're, you and Bobby, you're going to be back to get into something, okay? okay? Get him quick. Get him quick. Good. We can see Bobby's nice reaction. Where's he gone? Bobby, come back. Right, now the purpose of that was obviously to give Bobby a chance to bring the lunch he never ate up <laughs> and also for you to feel it works. Right, right. We, we can't test yeah. this, you see? Right. That was I mean, good. I don't mean to smile, man, but I kind no, of feel like I'm an accomplishment. <laughs> I appreciate right? that. Yeah. That was nice. Do you feel it? That was it? good, yeah, yeah. Okay, absolutely. so what you've, what, we've, what, what you've learned basically is that, you know, you, you, your boxing stuff is very good, mm -hmm. right? But what you've done is you've, you're using a lot of motion to get a result that would not 
have done any more damage than that. Right, right. You can give me a punch. Give me a right, your, your right cross. Yeah. Start right. gently. All right. In your boxing, yeah. Boxing? Yeah. All right. All right there. Yeah. Now, watch this. Do that little short punch with your left. Now, I've taken shots from a few people. That one went in. Yeah. All right? Okay. So that was far better. Yeah. Like, this is absolutely no word of a lie. None of them went through. <laughs> They're pushing me back because one, I'm absorbed. I'm not stupid. I don't want to stand there. I've been beaten up too many times in, in this game. But when you absorb that first strike, mm. all you're going to you've left, you're going to leave a red mark there and possibly a bruise. That one has gone right in. There'll be no bruise and no mark. Hmm. All right. So work on those little short ones. Okay. Like that left you just did. Straight to me. You just, you just did that to me. There you go. There's your shot. That's more powerful mm -hmm. than your previous right cross. Wow. Don't start swinging around now, you know, trying to get back into it. You don't need the leverage. You have enough power. Good. Stay as loose as you can without losing form. Okay. You, you, you're trying to, again, you. you you're working it, and this is not going to happen in one session, right? Okay. You're going to have to take time and get through this idea and do a lot of practice like this in the air, just letting your arm lift up, feeling heaviness in your arm and your hand. But look, I'm coming across here now because I'm doing something mm -hmm. different. I'm coming around the room. But you can, so we want to, the quickest one's going to be this short, very precise motion here. From here, we can start building the power that we can come around the ribs. So what you think now is a boxer's left hook mm -hmm. is in fact, or right hook in this case, this on a different angle. And I can turn for more power, but if I don't have enough time. Boom. All right. So play around with those ideas, keeping that. Uh, your hand, see your hand quick? Keep it nice and your arms need to be nice and loose, but at the point of impact, this here needs to be solid, this unit, but not here, but here. So it's very difficult to get used to just putting tension here. You see? Classic Sistema Punch made famous all over YouTube videos is about first of all the purpose of having this straight line here is to let the energy of that punch come back out the elbow. Okay. As you're a boxer, if you you feel that in your head. Mm. So what is jolting? Many boxers have eyesight problems because their brains are shaking, mm. even when they do bag work. So you need to try and keep that shoulder back and have that as far away from you as you can. See there's no energy. So from here is a simple, just turning motion. Relax. Shoulder down. Good. So watch look. So now we're going to go for all the way back here. Mm -hmm. Use the total motion in. All the way back. Hard, fast, hard. Good. There's a strike. If you need to take that, take it. As you work. Go on. Use that. See it? Feel that power? Yeah. How's it feel? Feels good. Yeah. Get into it. Dig in. Let's still extend. Boom. Really explode. Okay. On the left. I talked good. Um, about your feet when I said get a shot of his feet. So I want you to do your basic boxing motion now, your, your like shadow box. Now if you look, the shoulders are still high. But look at the feet. The feet are just moving naturally because there's no support. And that's happening without any form of thought. Now I want you to concentrate on trying not moving your feet. Now you've lost all your motion, right? Yeah. But when we're doing our strikes, 
This will make sure you don't put too much body into it. Ooh. All right. So now what we're going to do, take these up to the... This will stop the excessive body motion rather than this boom. We're just going to do this. You can see my feet are very stationary because I'm not using, I'm not thinking of winding up. And this is a mindset thing, okay? Because what you're doing is you're trying to get away from, in, in any form of boxing, which, you know, we both box, we know, you're always trying to drive from the ground up. And yeah, you look at the shots of, you can give some nice, good shots, but there's so much motion, you're not even aware you have. So I want you to try, you're gonna have to go out very slowly. And look how narrow I've put your feet. Because you're not in combat now, what you're in, you're in a situation of wherever you are. Right? So don't move those feet, just your arm. Relax. So you're still getting power. You're still a little tense, and the tension's going to go in time. I can't undo all that tension in one simple session, but I can get you to feel looser. Look, let me do it for you. Feel that motion. That motion. Extend your arm through. There's a power. There you go. And the right. Now put a bit more body motion into it, and you'll see your feet will turn. You see? Yeah. Yeah? Now, I'm not saying you can't put motion. But a great way to train to take away those uh, leg action that you're so used to. They're actually a golfing tool. Really? Yeah. I can go golf to buy these. You can't buy them. No, you can. You can take those ones. No, no, no. Don't. I don't use them. You go on, try. Now to change the angle because he's moved. Come around. There you go. Don't let that left wrist collapse. Get that elbow up. Boom. There you go. Now from here. Go on, go on. As soon as I flick, throw. Right, okay, stay there. Poor old Bob's got a bash in today. Oh, sorry. There you go, closer still. Boom. Straight up into the wrist. That's it. Now here, look, you can come around under his eyes to crack him in the ribs, because he can't see. Good. Okay, relax. Just relax. And finish. Okay. So you get the idea. Now if you stand on firm ground, right. you do the same thing again. Ah. Quicker. See? Mm -hmm. Now you got some snap. There you go. Now bury that fist into it. Bury it. That's it. That was shoulder. Good. And relax. Okay. So now you're learning to make quick moves without this thought. Because mm. in boxing, everything we are all taught come, it comes from the ground up. Right. And unfortunately, what that does in your subconscious, because you've been doing it so many years, is that you you focus on the legs first. Come on. And as soon as those legs move, a good experienced street fighter, bang. Yeah. As soon as anything moves. So that's a great way of training to take the legs out. Because if you stand there, you see I'm pulling the punch because I don't want to hit him. But if I release it, I'm going to knock. If I just do that, look, straight in, very relaxed. And a great way to relax is to do the reverse, tense it. Do it under extreme tension and feel that agony you've got to and then loosen it. So you've got the feeling of tension gives you the exact, you need to do, create the exact opposite for relaxation. Okay. People say, oh, relax when you punch. Well, who in their right mind in the street's gonna relax? Right? Only the best. Right. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> right? True. That's because that's the guys you see on the, 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 the top system guys. Right, right. They're relaxed, very relaxed, but they've gone through years of doing this. And one of the best ways is to feel the tension in your arms and take it out.
So I'm feeling the tension in my shoulder. Now I take it out. The shoulder's got motion. But have I got time to wind that up? We don't know. Maybe this one, yeah. There's one, two, I don't know. We don't know is the key. So absorbing strikes was the thing you want to learn as well? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So let's just relax. You head up straight back. We're going to go through it very systematically. You tell me when it's... Now, he's doing it, you can't hear it. It's a slight exhale. And the harder the impact, and not from here, just from the top of your lungs. Now you're... That's it. <laughs> now, in order to absorb the strike, we've got to create a solid base. And that base comes from the back. So this whole lower back area needs to be sunk, number one. And what we're going to do is close off the rib cage. So all that space, we're going to sink. And we're only going to put tension to the point of the solar plexus. So we're going to so hyper, I extend and then relax. Sink everything down. Not too much so your pelvis comes forward. Just enough to close off the gaps. Now breathe out and keep it. Now you see you've got a very solid base to take. That, how's that feel? Feels better. Good. Now I'm going to do a lot of taking strikes is in your mind, okay? Because your 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 whole psyche is based on fear when you get hit. Once you keep taking these strikes and relaxing and only keeping the tension in that point, the solar plexus, and also creating a very stable base in the back so your lats need to drop, you sink, right? Now you're giving, you're, you're giving this a very solid base from which to get your hit. I'm going to throw a few boxing style punches at him and you just watch how easy it's going to be to take these, right? Feel it? Yeah. But it's not deep. And if I drive it, it will be. But he's just his first time doing it, so we need to build it up. If I hit, do some more... There you go. I had to put one in there, I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> now. Okay, right. good, good. So, perfect. I went. Sink. Relax. And just breathe out. Don't let this shoulder section collapse forward. Round your back. Keep your back and your head nice and straight. And forget about it. Close your eyes. Get a pose, just to work it up. Don't go too crazy. It's a, it's a mind, not a physical issue. Because who wants to be hit? Right, right, right? right. But when you realize it's easy to take it, or relatively easy to take it, you know, you can start to grow in confidence. And once you have the confidence of being hit, then you have a bit able to deal with being hit. Your whole sort of perspective of martial arts changes because. Now you're not so fearful. You're not going to be crazy and come and hit me because I'm not going to hit you back. But what you can do is you know you can absorb some punishment. Right, right. And we just do this very lightly around the back as well. It's important to keep this... You want a straight line because the, if the spine is nice and straight, everything then slots underneath it. The shoulders, the hips, down into the legs, into the feet. If you start to round one part off, now you've disconnected. So you've created a weakness. So shoulders back, down, the lats down. Sink the lats and your stomach. Feel that you're falling into the ground. You're like, you're almost like your legs are braced in concrete. Right? Just for this exercise. And then just relax. And keep attention just on the point. And all I'm doing is just going a little deeper up to what he can take, rather than trying to beat him senseless. And it's just that fear of getting hit. I'll take it up just a notch.
That's all you need. Yeah. You feel it? Genuinely. Yeah? Genuinely. Much better. Yeah. Much, much better. Huh. So when you okay. came, that would have... Yeah, yeah those, those last three or four were really just in the zone. Yeah, just you, just, you just... You know, you... Then, of course, it's up to me to take it up even more. Right, right. But we can't do it in a day. Yeah. That yeah. takes time, and we build up to that. And then, you know, I'm going to start... Laying them in deeper. You see, Val, it'll just be a little tap. Yeah. So, let's do a few of those for you. Yeah. It's deceiving, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Now, yeah. do we do that on the body? No, we wouldn't. We could do it, but where's that useful for? We just do the face. And all it is is just a little acceleration of the wrist. Right. Try it. There's a lot more going on, but you'll find that out. That's it, do it from there. Good. Feel this, feel this really contract down. This one here? Yeah, just feel, it, feel the weight coming from here, heavy. Good. And then the little one is just simply the acceleration in. Watch. <coughs> now to be fair, that caught you between breaths. Yeah. Alright, so <coughs> relax, breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay. So what I felt there is straight through the straight through the muscle yeah. into the and that's deep, and that's what happens when you catch. I mean that's just practice, relaxation. It's nothing mystical to this. Right. Right? So that's that that's your real little now you, you see now how it's not such Yeah, yeah. So yes, the boxing stuff is good. Right. You're just so much sweeter yeah. in the sense that it requires a lot less effort. Now, does it mean you want to go and fight a boxer? No. That'd be crazy. All right? Well, I'm not going to help you because I know you like to box, so... And do some bad drills. Take your boxing position. Now, instead of... Throw your right cross normally. Now, instead of all that movement, just pop it out straight from there. No, shoulder down. Just throw your arm. There you go. Straight back like a piston. Boom. Back to here. Bury it and then back. Boom. No, you're coming, you're coming the lazy way. Good. Jab. Now, use that same relaxed shoulder and then just pop it out. Even, I want so little energy in there that you are half asleep. Not that little. little you're still going to hit me. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Now do two. Come on. Let us see. Don't just fire it straight. Twist your hand over. Good. Get that shoulder down. That's it. Faster. There you go. Now that's a deep shot. Mm -hmm. Right? Come around. You remember that big long swing punch we did? Yeah. There it is. Same thing. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, oh. Okay. So I'm feeling it through there. Right, right, right. Because right? Right. that's a lazy look, wasn't it? Yeah. Now let's make it shorter. Same motion. Okay. But let's just literally boom, pop it up there. A bit too much motion. Just pair. There. Better. Put a little body in. There you go. Left. Keep it firing. Don't pull it back. Keep it forward? Yeah. So if you put the pad on. The drill here is to have your punches just, and you do it literally at this pace, just not draw it back, and your hooks will just simply be here. You don't need much to knock somebody out. Right. Okay? It's nothing. And the, 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 the misconception is that, now remember, so let me, to all you boxers and MMA guys out there, what you're doing is a sport in a controlled environment where you know what's coming, you've got the gloves on and you're going to try and knock each other out. That means two people jump into a ring knowing exactly what they have to do. At a high level it's a game of chess. He who makes the first mistake, boom, gets caught. 
right? And then you bring in the dynamics of footwork and evasion and everything else. But in principle, you both know exactly what you're going to do. You've trained for it for weeks. You spent hours on the bag, kicking it, punching it, whatever. So it's obvious what's going to happen, right? So you've got to now put your all into it, and the fittest one and the most technique is going to win, right? True. And the strong strength, obviously, up here as well as in here. But what we're training for, what we have is there's no evenness, there's no equalness, I should say. The guy that's coming to attack you is going to attack you. You have no preconceived, you have no ideas of what he's done, what he's going to do. So you have to learn to hit very quickly. And this is where you have to lead with the speed. Two or three good shots will put somebody down rather than one big bang. So every time I put the pad up, whatever shot, so here would be a, 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 a straight. Now, don't, I don't really care about technique. Right. This is irrelevant at this point. Okay. This is just bashing, right? Get him quick and hard. So you, again, you, the delay there, mm -hmm. the hesitation. Right. Do you see the legs trying to move? Mm -hmm. So think of what we did. Boom, flash that hand out. Just straight. Straight into it. Good. And again, flash the left out. Good. Quicker. Don't use your arms. Arm only. Boom. Boom. Now, there's a lot of talk about arm punches and Sistema and Russian martial arts. They only have arm punches. So you need your body. How much time do you have? Zero. Right, boom. That was the whole body. Just flash that arm straight in. Quick. Good. And you can hear that. That's, that's a KO. Definitely. You catch him on the point, he's gone. Good. Keep that shoulder down. Don't swing wild. Just boom. There you go. That's your best shot. 